guys, welcome back to Humber Koi. Good evening. Here's something that you don't see every, very often. Somebody doing a nighttime koi video, but today, as you can see from the breath, this evening, it's a bit of a chilly one. I'm at Wakefield Koi. I've come to give him a hand with a Japanese import. The koi are at the moment in transportation, coming back from Gatwick. We'll be here momentarily and we can do an unboxing and uh, go through the quarantine procedure. So it's pretty cool at the moment. We've got an, he's got all his koi inside, but he's got a full QT setup outside. So it's a bit dark at the moment, guys. I'll try and get a bit more light for when we are filming, but as you can see, big old Nexus, air source heat pump, and a completely separate area where we can heat ramp these new koi coming in big backy shower on the top so once he gets here because i've got here a bit early we'll be able to um start unboxing so all that's left to do is just wait uh wait for george to get here with um with the koi and we can start acclimating them and um getting them out the bags getting them in the quarantine it's great for someone like myself who's a hobbyist to actually be invited to do something like this because it's something that you never get to see and obviously i get to film it for you guys as well so win-win i'll put you away now and we'll bring you back out when everybody's here so just some in a box up for you i'm gonna float them outside That was a bit hectic guys, I couldn't really show you that first step, but all of them are floating on the QT pond behind us. Been floating for about half an hour, we're gonna get it, to, we're gonna do it for about an hour. And then we're going to put them in individual balls down here. From the bags into the balls, from the balls into the QT pond. So then we should be able to see everything that's been brought in. Hopefully there's enough light, because as you can see, it's pitch black. <laughs> Give it another half an hour, guys, and we'll show you what we're dealing with. My word. That is incredible. Oh, but they never went to the ball, are they? 60 tier? Yeah, must be about 60. Yeah. Wow. I'm not stressing my attic No. Where were these ones from? Oskin, Zumbo Tosai. Yeah. Really yeah, nice yeah. match this one. Absolute stonkers in here. A bit pink. Not done bad to say they've been in the back. I like that. So. That size. Yeah. That's massive as well, isn't it? Look yeah. how deep that is. Well, you would look a little bit stressed, wouldn't you, if you'd just been on a plane? No, not half. Not done bad to be for that funny salt. Nice little sort of shower. Not a bad shower. Wow. It's got some developing to do, but when that when that sumi goes dark. Yeah, it's nice. That'll, that'll be real nice. Sort of out, yeah. That's probably one of the favourites of me. This is lovely, this. Nice head on it. Yeah. It is. Right, so we're socking them from here, guys. Straight into the QT, which is the pitch black. So that's why we're showing you them next to the windows. Oh, 
Close that now. Mm -hmm. okay. Mate, these showers impressed me more than the four step, I think. What's that? I think the showers have impressed me more than the four step. Yeah. What do you reckon, guys? What's the best one in here? That one for me. With a close. One second, maybe. So this box is from Heroi. Special water, yeah. Wow, second bag. Uh, bag box number three, Heroi. Quite a variety in here. We've got some Goshki, some Deut stuff. Absolutely awesome. Right, these have had long enough out. Let's get them in the pond. Oh, sorry for the camera. It's all right, don't worry. <laughs> I'm in your way, mate. You're not in mine, don't worry about that. <laughs> I like this. Another batch from Heroic. Look at this. Might have to say sorry to Nicky, but Looks like mine. Very nice. It's the rest of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to spot on it, so. Deutz. Very nice. Need oh, there. Right, one bag left. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Let's get it out. Clean the water out, and we'll go from there. Let's have a look what we've got from Oya then. That's got loads of underlying here. Oh, that it's going to be nice, that. Yeah. That's a bit, like, a bit disappointing. <sighs> A 
much wood. We haven't got a split fin in there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Travelled well. This is going to be a nice shower in here. Not that one. Is it a shower or is it a sand <laughs> It's a shower. Oh. To hold some goodies out. Look at that, that's going to do some nice developing, isn't it? Look at all the underlying on that. Loads of it, and it's head. Stonker. It's a bit of a split, but it'll come back. Well, so yeah. Yeah, it's nice to see the that. different standards from different breeders, though. Yeah. Um, they're all quite relative, to be fair. They're with, with the well, they're there, thereabouts. They're all pretty similar. Well, guys, it's the day after. All them coyos all put into the quarantine system, and should all be settling in nicely now. All of these koi will be available once they've been through their uh, quarantine process and will be listed on George's website. So let me quickly show you where that is and where to look now. So this is wakefieldkoi.co.uk. When you click on the Japanese koi section, it brings you to all the koi that is currently got for sale. Obviously, none of the ones that were imported last night will be bowled up until the end of quarantine. But you can have a look in there and see what's currently available and um, obviously once everything from last night has cleared quarantine you'll be able to go on there click them and have an individual look i'll also pop down there and do some more filming once they've all cleared quarantine to have a look on there but some nice koi in the meantime to have a look at and here you've got his contact details at the end if you want to give him a bell it's as easy as that guys, just pop on over there and you'll be able to see all the up and coming koi when they are photographed. I'd like to thank George for allowing me to come down and film and uh, seeing part of the process, it was really good for a hobbyist like myself to actually get involved in that side of it. So thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.